a bit unnerving and we're fine we walk most places in the evening stick to the main road and we take the ZRs but it's just a bit unnerving because there's a lot of crime on the island anyway so you just don't want it to to move on to the tourists because it will keep them away that's you know but we but we're quite still quite happy to walk we walk up and down to the gap because we stay around here um, and so we catch the bus but it's a little unsettling I feel very safe I you know uh, we've been walking around shopping eating doing tourist things and uh, we've been fine we went up to Hunts Garden, we used the local buses, we went to Spitestown, it was great. I love it, right? It's a lovely place. And people have been very, very friendly and also, you know, very willing to help, right? Uh, with directions, with advice, whatever. Yeah, so it's been good. We feel safe. We've been on the local buses. Um, like I told you, we, we haven't been out at night. We don't have a car. And we, we decided that we wouldn't roam around at night, you know, but uh, I didn't think, you know, I mean, we've been prudent. That's all. I, uh, that, and that's true no matter where you are. I believe in the um, tourist areas that there is a level of safety that isn't succumbed anywhere else in the actual Caribbean. Yeah. It's when it gets dark and so forth, whilst you have to use your common sense, that is when the uh, fear factor will, will, um, will actually um, come in. Yeah, and I would, be, I would be remiss to say if I didn't feel more uncomfortable at, at night. But then I would feel more uncomfortable at night if I was in New York, Sydney, <laughs> you know, so forth, so forth. So um, I generally think that Barbados has the balance right.